Well, it's another Thursday here in State College, and once again, it's raining. We can't seem to break the pattern. Good afternoon on this October 27th. I'm student meteorologist Ben Ruppert with your CWS weather update. The rain that is impacting us right now will be exiting during the afternoon hours, giving way to colder temperatures that will be moving in. That will be the big story. And will that set up a trick or a treat for Halloween come Monday? Well, we'll talk about that in the extended forecast coming up. But as far as the rain is concerned right now, there's a lot of green on the screen and a batch of rain moving into State College right now and it's pretty steady and then we have another batch moving through the eastern part of the state right now and this will be the trend that this rain will be crossing the area and throughout the afternoon we have to allow for showers to continue before everything gets out of here later on this evening. A wider view right now shows that we have a cold front that is moving from the Ohio Valley down into the deep south. This is actually a storm system that brought Denver accumulating snow yesterday, the first snow of the season out there and this could actually uh, impact the eastern part of Pennsylvania over the weekend. If you've been hearing any of these snow rumors, if there's any chance of seeing some wet snow in eastern PA, it would come from this system on Saturday. It's something to watch over the next 24 to 36 hours. As far as temperatures go right now, uh, things are pretty chilly. It's 45 in State College right now, but that's going to be dropping. We already have 30 showing up in northwestern PA. It's still mild in the eastern part of the state, but again, these temperatures are pretty much at their max right now. It's 60 in Philadelphia and Lancaster and 54 in Allentown, but it will not stay that way for long. A wider view of these temperatures shows that behind this cold front, it's really chilly. It's 23 in Denver and plenty of plenty of 30s and 40s out here through the Midwest. So all these readings you see here in the east in the 60s and 70s will be wiped away once this front crosses the area. Here's a look at the future temperatures by six o'clock tonight. You can see here on the clock we're already down into the 30s for State College and Williamsport and uh, every place to the north and west. And overnight, we will be seeing many areas, if not most locations, go below the freezing mark. Lots of 20s showing up. Scranton, Bradford, Franklin, even here in State College, we're calling for 20s for low temperatures come tomorrow morning. And then by 10 o'clock in the morning, we will see temperatures begin to warm up, but they will not go much past here, as highs tomorrow will only be in the low and middle 40s. And that's going to continue right through the weekend. As far as today is concerned, though, again, we will still be looking at those showers. 45 for the high temperature. Winds will be out of the north at about 7 to 10 miles per hour. So pretty damp and wet day, to say the least. Overnight, it's going to be cold. With some lingering moisture, we could see some snow showers across the State College area tonight. And 28 degrees come tomorrow morning when you wake up. So you're going to need the coat when you're heading off to class. Winds continuing out of the northwest. And for your day on Friday, it's going to be a sunny day, so looking good, but it will certainly be on the cold side. 44 is what we're going for for the high. And again, winds continuing out of the northwest, keeping it chilly. Here's your CWS five day forecast. We notice Saturday we do have a slight chance of snow, but that would be of the snow shower variety and not a big deal. 42 for the high. Again, for the football game, it's looking good, but certainly just on the cold side. Sunday, we warm up to 49 with the sunshine, and by Monday, certainly a treat for Halloween as we get back into the 50s and morning lows through the period will remain right around or slightly below the freezing mark. I'm student meteorologist Ben Reppert. Have a great day.